this is the last 7th part of 1400 km motorbike trip, riding on the loop from Bangkok to Chantaburi. In this video, we are leaving beautiful Chantaburi province, visiting few other attractions on the way to Rayong. King Daxing Shrine and enshrine the statue of King Daxing are revered by many Thai people. It's shaped like a helmet and it's a popular attraction in Chantaburi. Thai people make offerings of flowers and the like to the statue in return for blessings from King Tak Singh, who was known as an extremely kind-hearted monarch who always placed the betterment of his people before anything else. King Tak Singh was aristocrat in the Ayutthaya kingdom and then was a major leader during the liberation of Siam from Burmese occupation after the second fall of Ayutthaya in 18th century and the subsequent unification of Siam after it fell under various warlords. The waterfall is located in the national park of the same name, 15 kilometers from Chantaburi city. The park spans 135 square kilometers in total, mostly inaccessible and comprised of granite protrusions from the surrounding plains. The rainforest was extensively looked over the years, but what's left alone with regrowth still holds some interest in wildlife and many birds. Leo National Park is also famous among Thai people for its bell-shaped chedi near the falls, which was built by King Ramathith. It's a loving memorial housing a relic of Princess Sunanta Kumari, his first consort, who died in a boat accident. The waterfall is large, 20 meters high and beautiful, but actually the carp in it are one of the main attractions. Hundreds of huge carps swim in the clear and natural pool waiting for the food from tourists. Be aware from putting the feet in the water, their bite quite substantial. Just next to Plea National Park, there is a hidden gem, Wat Man Kon Bu Param, also known as Wat Len Hua Yi in Chinese. This Sina Buddhist temple is highly revered by locals of Chinese descent in Chantaburi. The temple was built in 1977 and is a showcase of Chinese art and architecture. It tells the story of Mahayana Buddhism, the teachings that came to Thailand centuries ago when Chinese immigrants first began to settle here. So this temple is a sacred place of worship for the Chinese who come here to pay respect to their ancestors. Waton Tua houses an Ubasot and Stupa aged over 100 years old, as well as incorporates Khmer style design elements, so it's a temple that is best described as being antique. The temple has a vast collection of Khmer sculptures from the days gone by. These include lintels, inscription stones and door columns, 
made out of sandstone with various designs carved onto them. Fort Noen Wom was made as a camp by King Daxin while reassembling his army before retaking Ayutthaya in the late 1760s. But what is left of the fort today was instituted by King Rama III as a part of defense system against potential Vietnamese invasions during the first half of 19th century. The botanical garden is not so much known attraction even by locals. It consists of an amazing 35,000 square meters park, showing the botanical variety of Thailand, including the largest collections of trees, shrubs, rare plants and flowers. It's located a few kilometers from Maya Rampuen Beach and it's a nice place to chill for a few hours. If you enjoy my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new releases.